When you do an <laughs> island so in beer pong, <laughs> how, oh, many, don't how do many balls do you get don't back? Don't do this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you're starting out on You're starting out on You went to college, right, Brett? I went to Indiana, yeah. If you hit an island, a single cup in beer pong, and you make it, how many cups are pulled? Two. <laughs> oh, you son of a bitch. My guy. No, no. Oh, you man. My f***ing guy. Boo. Hey, wait. Brandon, let me uh, just say one thing. Go ahead. We don't have to explain the whole story, do we? No, you should explain it. Okay. It's interesting. You Did you bring explain me on the podcast no, to no, sandbag no, me? No, no, no. You're sandbagging no, 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 no. me. What is it? What? No, go the ahead. Whole, the whole what story? Yeah, go ahead. It's a long story. Okay. These guys got into a fight over beer pong. Argument, yeah. It was it was a, and a it heated, was an argument. heated argument. Yeah. I heard it okay. was really heated. So basically, I'll try to break it down. Spark notes. Right. Um, so Brandon and, is playing with Jess, and I'm yes. playing with Ilya. Uh -huh. And um, I Jess, started doing Jess pretty well. Hates. By the way, yeah. I started uh, doing pretty pretty we well. Hate, we didn't hate Jess yet. I love Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon didn't hate Jess yet. We're Brandon's having a good well. game. We're having a good, good game. game. Jess is an alcoholic and invites too many people <laughs> to parties. See, maybe this is Jess's fault, Brandon. You know what? Oh, she was the instigator, you she mean? Was, yeah, no, just, just, <laughs> just, just her fault. The oh, it's just it's her just fault. Her fault. <laughs> yeah, you're right, man. <laughs> okay, so tell the story. So Brandon hits an island right. and wants to pull three cups. But from my from my experience playing since I was 14, <laughs> just kidding, 17, Right. Uh, it's been two cups. And then, so we get like in this back and forth. It's not even a big, it's a big deal, but it's beer pong. No offense, Brandon, but everyone at the table took my side mm -hmm. on the on the how many cups, right? Mm-hmm. But what, what got me going was Brandon kept saying his friend Vinny said it's three cups. And he's like, uh -huh. no, my friend Vinny said it's three cups. My uh -huh. friend Vinny said it's three cups. Uh -huh. And he calls Vinny, and Vinny goes, three cups. He's like, see, he said three cups. Uh -huh. I'm like, Brandon, there was like 12 people here uh -huh. on my side. You're also the one like, screaming at everybody. I was you were like, like, it's Three, uh, that's, two cups. that's not true. You were screaming too. I know we were both screaming. screaming. We were both getting heated. <laughs> so, okay, okay, we were so both screaming. We were both heated. So <laughs> everyone just wanted us to stop yelling at each other, and they're like, "Whatever, it's it's whatever." I mean, here's the and, thing. Th and then Brandon took a cup of water and threw it at me. <laughs> you did that to me, asshole. See what you see what I just did? I did it back yeah, to you. you. Reverse cycle. <laughs> Wait, who threw the water? He did. I threw oh. the water. But I tried. To, I just wanted to get them all fired up. Cause right. Uh, wanted so, to match your energy. Yeah. We, right. I wasn't the only one screaming. I just want everyone to know that you. We were both going back and forth. Right. With it. Hands down, we were cordial. You know, just yeah, two we gentlemen. Were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, and then Jess was screaming. I think she was like blacked out by then. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I think that's. I mean, that's how it ended, right? Yeah, I wish it, it was more then, climactic. Like we got into a yeah, fight in the pool and like got like I took went your heart out pool. and ate it or something. Right. But no, it was just we just like got into a, a fight. It was a stupid fight. Kind of. Yeah. Okay. Can I take the stand? Yeah, of course. Okay. So. I only recently started playing beer pong during the pandemic with Vincent. Okay. Me and him would just like hang out and play beer pong because there's nothing else to do. Yeah. So, um, and he's very good at it. And he uh, obviously went to college for a while and he was professional. Like, he's a professional well, you beer left that pong that part player. out. Okay. The professional. <laughs> Oh, why, I mean, there's yeah, a why, lot. why didn't you say that? Yeah, well, why didn't you there say was a lot because I'm pretty sure I didn't no, say you, that. No, you said, I don't think you no, heard me. He just said he went to college. Oh, Marcus is a professional beer pong player. Yeah, I want to let you know. No I kidding. was sober. Yeah. I was completely sober that day too. Okay, so I remember everything. Right. So yeah. he, Vincent, if you look it up, Vincent has uh, YouTube videos of him when he's like 20, do, like throwing beer uh, pongs against the fucking or whatever balls against the wall mm -hmm. and landing and doing really intricate shots. Yeah, and he was like a professional player. And I asked oh. everything he told me was what I was saying, which was I think oh. I was saying two cups, two no, or three. It cups. It is two cups. You said three cups. Also, okay. too, when you play beer pong, it's house rules, right? So Mike Sheffer came up. I didn't say anything to Mike, and David asked, "Hey, Mike, it's your it's your house. House rules. How many cups for uh -huh. Island?" And Mike goes two. Right. So that should have right. squashed squashed the argument completely. We've had the from same we've had the same fight with Paul. <laughs> okay. Right, we yes. had the same exact fight with Paul, and it was house rules. House rules, yeah. House rules. The sad thing is, we're all yeah. you know, we're friends, but we're competitive, and we right. want to win. Yeah, and well, neither of you have much going on. <laughs> so that's, I will that's, also that's say, part of it too. I also will say, I don't drink or do any drugs. So I, the only thing I had that day was that beer pong game. Like uh, really, like I wasn't really doing anything at the party. I was just talking to people. Yeah, but like you know, you go to a party, you go there to do something, take substances, or you know. But that was all I had. I had that and pretzels. That's all I had too. Right. Right that day. So know? I got passionate about it because I was like, wait, I'm doing pretty good yeah. at beer pong. And now you're coming in. And it felt like, this is how I felt. It felt like you didn't want to lose. That's what I felt. 
And I don't think I don't know if that's true. No, 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 that's no, no. What I, I felt I, I I play by the rules for my the rules that I know. I'm not right. I'm not dissing your rules at all. Right. You know. So we but we come from two two different worlds because yeah. my world, Vincent, professional, yeah, yeah, is telling me. It's There's only one way to settle this. So, I know. I was about to say, why are we even talking about that? Have a beer pong game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I looked up the official rules, though. Right. So it's two for an island. Mm. Three if one person gets an island, and then the other person gets it in. Like mm. your teammate gets it into the other cups, mm -hmm. okay. and then it's four if both people get island. Yes. Okay. And, and we and our buddy Tien, who's who's here, politely looked up the rules uh -huh. that day as well, and they're in favor of myself. So that goes towards him. Yeah. So. Do you want me to get on my knees and suck you up? What do you want me to do? Yeah. Maybe <laughs> after, to do? after we're rolling, you know. Okay, after we're done. Yeah. Right. I, I also I'll go on Patreon. Just give him, yeah. a, him an apology. That's all he wants. No, oh, you, you want? Do you, you actually want to? No, I don't apologize? want to apologize. No, you don't. Uh, I, you know, after after this, I sent I sent Brandon the little beer pong game over text. <laughs> oh yeah. And then he goes, <laughs> and then he responds, "House rules" or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. funny. That's yeah. funny. But, but you know what? You are right about mm. sugar. Yeah. All types of sugar. From a donut uh -huh. or a blueberry, right? Your body reacts the yeah, same way. Todd sent me that TikTok. <laughs> He's like, "This is so Brandon." I mean, it is true. No, you, I know. You didn't? Did you not like my uh, my DM the other day? What was your DM? You posted a picture of you with like all the heart monitor stuff on you. Oh, right. And I responded, "You have a very big heart." <laughs> <laughs> Well, oh, he showed me that, and you you opened yeah, it. Yeah, I looked at that while I was in the ER, and I was like, "Oh, isn't this funny?" And the doctor's like, "That's hilarious." <laughs> um, no, the thing about that was you can put a little screenshot of it up if you want. But that is just a sleep apnea test. I had a sleep apnea, which he has. Do you not? You have sleep apnea, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just getting it tested just to see if I have it. So is your sleep is your sleep yeah. uh, messed up? Oh yeah, I wake up five times each night. I think I think and. I don't know if it's a normal person, but uh, uh, some people wake up like seven to ten times. Right. I mean, maybe not fully. Mm. Like for me, I sleep, walk, and talk all the time. Mm. Like Natalie just told me two stories where I was singing in the middle of the night. Right. I don't know if that's completely awake. But one, the other night, I mm. went over her on like my forearm, like over her, like while she was like laying on her back. And I go, <laughs> don't move. Don't move. That's so scary. And that's, that's, what so she, scary. that's what she told me. I'm like, oh my, I don't remember any of it. Right. <laughs> that is <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> she must be so scared. I, I would be scared to sleep with me. Don't in like, move. Because <laughs> I have reoccurring, like, reoccurring nightmares. Were you right. in the war? <laughs> that's PTSD. Maybe in a past life. Yeah, maybe. I, I could be an indigo kid, you know? Yeah. You never know. But so could I have like. Been a nom. Yeah. Hope, right. uh, World War II, maybe. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I have a recurring dream of a, a train about to hit me, so I'm not sure what that means. Jason used to decipher my dreams when we lived together. Oh, I used to love that. Yeah. Yeah. You would call him in the middle of the night being like, I just had this dream. What does it mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> we lived down this down the hall from each other. Yo, oh, this, right. this, yeah, this this kid calls me with the most insane things Do all you? the time. What's your scariest dream? My scariest dream, I remember, well, it was a dream where I woke up and I felt like I had woken up fully. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to go about my day. And for some reason, there was some girl dressed in all white in my living room. And I was like, okay, I'm, immediately I knew I was still dreaming, but it felt so real. And she just turned around, she had big white eyes. She just ran at me and just, like pounced on me. And then I woke up again. But when I woke up again, I didn't know if I was still dreaming. Oh, that That's a trip. So I was kind of just laid in bed for like 30 minutes. And then I got up and then uh, I wasn't dreaming. So it was fine. It's kind so of anticlimactic. So you woke up and you were still dreaming. Yes. And then you woke up again. Yeah. That is kind of out of, out of a movie. Yeah. It's called something. I forgot what it's called, but it, it might have just been sleep paralysis. Have you guys ever had that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? What Definitely. did you see when you... I would see uh, like all sorts of figures yeah. like, coming towards me. Like one time I saw like a... Leonardo DiCaprio. I wish. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been fucking heaven. Right. But um, no, I used to see like figures at the end of my bed. Okay. But um, what have you seen? Brett? I mean... Okay, so I've had different. I don't know what what, what is where the line is, but I, when I was little, I used to have reoccurring dreams where I knew I was dreaming, and I'd be like, "I have to wake up! I have to wake up out of this dream!" I couldn't wake up. Mm -hmm. Now I have more types of stuff where I, even if I'm in a dream, like someone will be chasing me, and my legs stop working, and then like, yeah. I kind of half wake up, and I'm like really in this like weird middle state of a trance. I also right. have the thing where right before I fall asleep. Like I feel like I'm falling down a flight of stairs and I'll yeah. jump up. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Jason, yeah. you don't have any dreams anymore, right? <laughs> your, your dreams died a long time ago, right? No. When Wyatt like, turned 10, oh your dreams just died. Slate. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's just like skeletons. You <laughs> old bones. It's just, like, it's just like Joel Volpe is just dancing around in your nightmares. <laughs> hey, Jay. Hey, Jay. Want to yeah. play? 
You We're, know that picture that from uh, Vietnam of like the child running after right. the bombing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's just Jesus oh <laughs> every God. night. What well, do you guys think happens when we dream? Where do, where do we where, where do, do we, we go? go? Yeah. Whoa. You just go into your mind. That's pretty deep. Yeah. No. It's almost like somebody made an album with that same title. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna fucking steal you should that. sell those sunglasses. You think? Yeah. yeah. They, they well, really fit you well. Wait. Is it so like make my own? Yeah. Do you want to hear a really funny story? Yeah. But I can tell this, and like, there's like not going to be any beef because we're about to squash it. I think. Okay. So, I went to Runyon one day by myself, and it used to be a thing. Jeff and I used to go to Runyon, mm. you know, and then a bunch of shit happened. We kind of like parted ways. Yeah. And no beef at all. We're cool on the internet. Whatever. Mm. We just didn't see each other or talk. And so I posted an Instagram story, and um, I posted fastest kid alive where I'm like kind of like walking up running and then all of a sudden I start running really fast right. with like my Instagram story. It's very stupid, but right. like, fastest kid alive. Right. And then, um, and then like six hours later, Jeff is wearing a similar pair of these glasses, not yeah. these Oakley's, but, um, another pair and he, and he puts fastest man alive and puts that, to ins- and puts that on Instagram. Right. Mm. And then I get, I get tagged, um, on Twitter from a fan account and it's uh, my, a screenshot of me, fastest kid, and a screenshot of Jeff, fastest man. Mm. <laughs> that person had nothing to do that day, I guess. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm like, what the f***? And so, like, it looks like Jeff's, like, trolling me, right? right. And I thought sure. I thought it was really funny. And so I have a photo of, of Jeff and I when back at the, tr- like, seven months ago at the track. Mm. And we're doing sprints. Yeah. And I just so happened to be in front of him, and our friend Tien snapped a photo of mm. that. And so I posted that to the thread of um, of the fan account that screenshotted me and Jeff, Jeff and I. Yeah. And because I thought it would be funny. And, mm. and then he, he texted me. He's like, yo, bro, I didn't see your story. He's making glasses, like the ones he was wearing, like these ones, called right. Fastest Man Alive glasses. Uh, right. And so that was a really long-winded story. <laughs> and I hope you like, yeah, <laughs> were you able to like? Stay I'm on sorry, pace I tried to start drama with you guys on Twitter. Yeah. I'm sorry, I posted I'm sorry. the two things. I had nothing going on that yeah, one day. Yeah. It was a shame. I'm sorry, man. That's so funny. You're yeah. Jeff Wittick 69. Yeah, sure am. Yeah. Yeah. Man, cut that out. I'm sorry, <laughs> man. I just you're on a Wednesday. Yeah, honestly, you got nothing going on. It's a tense but, relationship. But yeah, I thought it was pretty funny. He texted me. He's like, "Yo, bro, I didn't even see your story. I was just, you know, right. I was, I'm making glasses called Fast, Fastest Man Alive. Mm. But I thought it was, I thought it was pretty funny. We both laughed it off and. That's good. It's good. And, and laughing is good. Brings people together. I, I oh, I love yeah. I love to laugh. I like that. We're, that's good. Yeah. You should, you should make that you should up? put that on a on a, a bumper sticker. Right. Are you a comedian? I no, I don't think so. I mean, you, I just know that laughter like laugh. is the best medicine. That's yeah. what my doctor tells me every time I go in. I there. wish we had that after the beer pong. <laughs> I can't fix your I can't fix your heart, Brandon. <laughs> Here, watch this TikTok. <laughs> Yeah. Just yeah. Like, hey, hey, your doctor's just like, have you ever heard of the Nash Nation? Yeah. You should say <laughs> Brandon, I got good news and I got bad news. <laughs> the good news is yeah. there's a new website called Nash Nation. <laughs> the bad news is you're only going to be able to see about three weeks of it because you'll uh, be dead. Right. <laughs> but uh, Flatline's watching it. How is that going, by the way? It's going pretty good. Nash Nation. Pretty Did good. you plug it on the last one? I heard you plugging it. Yeah, I heard Todd them plugging and Brad you. Plug the shit out of it. That's if awesome. you want to get plugged, you can. You step right up, Brandon. Here. I uh, yeah. I have a something to plug. I mean, we're not that far into the podcast, but I'll wait till. Do I you have, have a hard out or a hard on? <laughs> that's that's good. funny. That was I, I that's that's funny. I won't plug you, but I will suck you off a little bit right now. <laughs> right. I think Brandon's the funniest out of all of us. Thanks, man. I do yeah, too. Well, I was most excited to meet you. I like I right. didn't know who anyone was, and then I met you, and I was like, I know this guy. You guys were both amazing on my side. Oh yeah, no, we. So what's funny about that is we met when I was nineteen. Yeah, you were. Tell us <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's why crazy. it's funny. <laughs> that's why it's funny is that oh we met God. when I was younger, that's so and that's right. well, you're the first person I ever met from the internet ever. <laughs> Which made my parents very scared. <laughs> they, Wait, so he was the first person that you hung out with from oh, the internet? Yeah, I was literally just like uh, on Vine, and, and he was the first person to message me going, going, hey, man, I love your videos. We should meet up. Wink. <laughs> Wink. Wink. Obviously, the dick pic accompanied it. But um, <laughs> hey, he's like, hey, hey he's lips up, lips up, lips up his mouth. Should I get this checked out? <laughs> yeah, right. But he, um, should I get this checked out? 
he came to my house. He drove all the way down from L.A. because he still lived in L.A. at the time. Oh, you're so mad. Oh, shit. Yeah. I bet Marnie was like, what? The? I'm just kidding. No, Marnie <laughs> loves Brandon. Okay. Right. No, but I'm saying, okay, so the first time that we met, he came down from L.A. <laughs> it was in the morning because he had to take his kids to school. So he had to do it before that, right? No, it was a Saturday. Oh, it was a Saturday. It was a Saturday. So I could be back in time to like when they got up. Okay, so like Saturday morning. At like 7 a.m. I would no drive No way. There. Yeah. Right. You drove your Explorer. No, you had the uh, yeah right the black and explore explore yeah. yeah yeah, and he uh, he showed up and I remember my stepdad was like watching him from the I remember him watching you from the window oh yeah yeah that's really funny because I went into your car we just filmed something in your car it's so <laughs> funny because that didn't cross my mind at all and yeah, that's like now it would sure but back then I was just like oh yeah it's like. Whatever, like I, it didn't. Yeah. It I, didn't cross my mind either. That was what was honestly, Brandon. Get it. over yourself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're not that fuckable. <laughs> well, I, feel like, I think I could do a lot better. Can you? Yeah, I think can so. You? If he was looking, I, oh, you yeah, can. If he was so. looking, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I wasn't turned on at all. I wasn't turned on at take all. The, take that. In back. fact, I was kind of like, back. let's get the vine and get out of here. Right. <laughs> yeah. You didn't want to fuck me at all. It never crossed no, your mind. Not, not even once. No. And I've seen lots of good looking guys I want to fuck. <laughs> not you. I don't believe him. <laughs> don't say that. really hurt my feelings, you saying that. Don't say that. All right, maybe Don't a fucking bit. say that. <laughs> maybe a little bit. Right. Which, which vine do you think, like, when you made, the, you made that vine, was like the vine, you're like, oh, I'm going to fuck this guy. I put it all out. <laughs> oh, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was a serious question I started answering. <laughs> Which vine made me want to fuck him? Yeah, I said, which vine would you guys nail that you're like, oh man, we're going to fuck after. Right. Um, oh my God, we, this is getting too dark. Okay. I mean, I, okay. I don't know, man. I'm kidding. <laughs> I think it was probably, uh, <laughs> actually, I don't remember either. Do you remember when we first bonded at Jess's birthday party last year? What you said I, to me? What did I say to you? I have a bad memory also. Very bad memory. He walks up to me, he goes kind of have a gay voice you were just listening to my voice uh-huh then- okay yeah, that that's what it was but i felt comfortable around you and so no, i was we've just, been friends we've been we've been, we've been friends doesn't and sound I, like you at and, all. and i asked yeah, just like it had been on my mind ever since i met you because and i don't know what it was i have three of my closest friends are gay mm-hmm. and uh Jason, um, <laughs> but they are <laughs> me and Jason. Jason, Ilya, and Dave. Jason. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you say Jason, Ilya, and Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, and I. I don't know. I just feel like I have a good like gaydar. Gaydar. Okay. And so I just thought you were, but then I didn't realize you, you don't were have just, a good gaydar. I what totally have a. good are you talking Jason's about? like you had no idea I was gay the whole time man. yeah <laughs> who who have you known as gay you don't I'm, have to apologize like I can't drink at I just, parties so. <laughs> I, just, I just looked at him and I said why do you think that and right. then you said because of your voice was it I don't think it was because of your voice that's what you said I think it was just your your energy just gave me that Tom, and that I want to thank you for having a Brandon as the make a wish today. That's really big of you. <laughs> he did that joke. He did that joke on Fourth of July. Well, oh yeah, he did. He did at the party, right? Yeah. yeah. So we had just gotten back from <laughs> Brett's your party, this and so my party. Everyone calls it my Brett's party. Brett's party. <laughs> it wasn't your party. No, it wasn't my party. Everyone thought it was my party. He was, just, yeah. he was sending you out invites. You should have seen these fucking assholes, Jesse. You invited me to the party. I get oh, the invite. I'm God. super appreciative. <laughs> you were the most appreciative. I'm like, fuck yeah, Brett. Thank you so much. I never get invited anywhere. This looks like a really good party. Maybe I'll go. Then these two <laughs> are fucking up my ass for an invite <laughs> for two fucking weeks. And, and I don't really give a fuck about the party, honestly. You know what I mean? And like Monday's coming and I'm like, <laughs> maybe I'll go. I'm, I'm like, I, you know, maybe, maybe <laughs> I'll go. And Brandon's like, well, I'll take your invite. And I'm like, you guys are up my ass. It was two days before the party yeah, that I started then, getting up your then, ass because I was like, I, I want to do something on 4th of July. I don't want to go watch fireworks. So, Todd, can you please take him under your wing what and get him off about? my back? He comes to me for like social shit. I'm fucking 50 years old. I don't know what's going on. You're, you're a hero you, to him. You're, you you're a guidance. Didn't, you didn't hit me up about this party until... Two days. Before. The, par- the list was closed. You said, yeah. the list is closed. What can we do? And I said, there's nothing I can do. The list is closed. My biggest problem is I'm not good at planning anything. Like, ever. And I wanted to go. I was like, oh, I want to go. Everyone's going. This sounds fun. And I couldn't go. <laughs> and we're, and then- driving, we're driving up to Malibu. And just, just is like, um, there's a, there's what's the girl's, the girl's name? Nisbia or something? Which, what do you, who? The, I don't know. There's like. The other girl in the car with us? Like, just is like, okay, my friend Gretchen's not going to the party. So. I can say I'm Gretchen, and Brandon's like, I want to be Gretchen. So like, <laughs> I can be Gretchen. Yeah. Well, what was the girl's name? Rachel, uh, or, Rachel something. or something like that. Something like Rachel. Rachel Ray. 
And I was like, I could be Rachel. So then I just I fucking got to. But he just he, he just calls me with the most asinine things. <laughs> hey, man, I want you to know something. <laughs> I didn't have a dad growing up, okay? Yes, you do. No, you have a great I didn't. dad. I know no, him. I didn't He's have a dad. He's fucking fantastic. <laughs> I didn't have a dad growing up. I had a Mexican father that was always working. He was not in my life. You're you're my father. When I I was introduced to you at 19, but I felt like I knew you my sick. whole life. And oh, and you can't receive sick. You know your problem is? You can't receive oh, affection either. Oh. Oh, you can't I receive can. no, no, can. from my own kids. I've seen the text why it sends him. He receives a lot of affection. Yeah. You and Joe, man. <laughs> I was gonna say if if one of these guys <laughs> Desert Island and you had to choose to be with Joe or Brandon for how long? Oh. You have you have you're, a week and a half. You're on a you have like two island. weeks until you're saved. Yeah, I don't have cyanide capsules or anything like that. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing like that. No. All, all, all poison's very, been removed from the all island. All you have a very dull knife. You can yeah. like cut yourself Between with him, that. There's or? no rope to fashion and there's, no noose rope. Yeah. there's plentiful food and water too, so you can't yeah, starve but, yourself. Between Brandon and Joe. What about just straight drowning myself walking yeah, in the you ocean? Can, you can do I that. Can't breathe. Or... Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. There are there are uh, coast guards that, or yeah, basically, you're you're, you. you're trapped on this island I, by I'd force. I'd probably pick Brandon, then I end up killing him. <laughs> that's probably what him. I would do. Right. And then eat him. <laughs> and Joe, I would kill too. <laughs> hey, this is the guy that's asked me to fucking move in with him three times. By what? The way. Three fucking times. What? Three fucking recently? times. Recently? No, on Vine, and then recently. He was what like, "Do you want to live in my guest house? Do you want to live in my guest house? To be really sick." Like Wait. we could just like make content together, and I was like, "Why the f do you want me in your guest house?" Well, I thought That's, that would be fun. He was it would nineteen, be fun. and yeah. he does him to move in. <laughs> the content oh my would God. be lit. It would be lit. <laughs> it would be lit. <laughs> and that's the thing. That's what I'm saying. So you don't want you want to move into an apartment with me, but you don't want to stay on a desert island with me it's for an two apartment. weeks. I said I would stick you in a guest house. In a guest house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have yeah, a house yeah. house? Huh? You have a guest house? No, but like there was a time when I was like oh, maybe okay. gonna get a house, and then I. Yeah, how right. come we never lived together like us three? Because you know. know when I was living with y'all, all of you. I where was, where was Brandon? And I then, like having my own space. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, really you like, do. Oh, you do. I really like having my own spot. Yeah. Todd's great to live with. He's the yeah. best. I remember that. What house was that? Altaview. Was and that Altaview? Bellingham and then Altaview. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dang. What's the thing you miss most about being roommates with Todd? Um, Just, yeah, just like the hang. Like when he comes home, when he comes right. home, it's so fun. Just make, making jokes, watching TV. He used <laughs> to come watch TV. Hang. What, yeah, really he's the, the best thing. hang. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, he's really fun. Right. And he doesn't he doesn't that. burden me with his problems, <laughs> you know, right. with long huh. late night. And because he's in the house, right. I don't have to sit on Facetime with him, <laughs> right? Listening to yeah, problems right. that you know may or may not exist, right? <laughs> yeah. That might just be in the other person's head <laughs> yeah. that they this are creating weird. problems like, that the don't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, right. Remember the remember the uh, vlog where um, Brandon was uh, tricked that there was an earthquake? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure do. Go hey, <laughs> want to know a funny story about that? So, before that, I think you were tasked with keeping me at a place for like thirty minutes before the prank happened because everyone where, had to set up. Where were we? We were at David's house outside of David's house, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I drove to David's house, and I'm I'm really like venting to you about I have I'm having like family problems and all this stuff, <laughs> very very personal problems that I wouldn't tell anybody else but him, and and the whole time all he's thinking is he's looking at his clock, just going okay I got twenty five minutes, and I'm just poor, and then I get there, and then I find <laughs> out that that happened. Right. So. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was tough. Right. That was tough because, you know, you, you were having a bad day. Yeah, it was, it was rough. But there were 300 extras <laughs> waiting to prank you. Right. So I had to make a decision there. Right. And, uh, and, I, and honestly... I, I did listen to your problems. I know you did. And I, I honestly... I respected it because it, I respected that prank so much. Yeah, it was good. Because it took so much planning and so much like orchestration in order to... Yeah, well, that's why I listen to your problems now. Right. When you because call. of that prank, now you yeah. owe them. There's a vlog where we were in Chicago and... Brandon tried to make out with me, but I was no way. I was wasted. Right? Really? Yeah. No, we both kissed each other. Yeah, yeah, we did. We both kissed each but other. But I rolled. I rolled. <laughs> try to make I rolled <laughs> stories are really funny. No, look, I I rolled out of I, I somersaulted out of a bar, uh -huh. spit on myself. Right. And then Brandon and I proceed to like kiss, and we both go. We're not gay, and we kiss. Oh, and we're like violently. We're, we're like yeah, violently yeah, making like, out too. It's very aggressive. And then the yeah. girl. I was seeing a girl at the time. Uh. This is before Karina. Okay. And this girl texted me a link of David's vlog. She's like, dot, dot, dot. Okay. You're a little too much. And like, <laughs> she like, she like, she, what? she thought, she's very like, um, 
Mm. She's very just like straight, straight and narrow. Like didn't she couldn't like, handle did, this. Didn't smoke, appreciate huh? the vlogs, like the, the okay. craziness of it. This is a little too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, yeah, I didn't know you were like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, that was a fun video. But oh, I'm sorry I ruined your relationship. <laughs> oh no no you did me a favor. You notice his, his stories they 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 like twist and turn a little oh, yeah. bit. Oh yeah. Like he'll be like Brandon threw the water at me. <laughs> well, that like no I didn't. He's like okay no I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I Brandon said, made out with me. Yeah. I said that it's I like no I, you you backed me into a corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I did. Okay whatever I did. In my defense the reason I, I the water story I said it like that was because Brandon came out firing like you were yelling. And that, I was like, Brandon, right. you were yelling too. He's like, okay, yeah, I was. I don't want to so, talk about that. No, that yeah. Again. That, That's very upsetting. To that watch day was crazy. Right. I wish I was there. Right. You would have laughed hysterically if I you just were said, watching I, the two of us. I saw the 19 year old boy, that, that Viner. I'm like, ah, he's, <laughs> he's much better than this. Dude. <laughs> Who has he turned into? Yeah, exactly. Right. We're what are you working on these days? Yeah. Oh, just. What are you up is to? your heart good, though? And you got. So your projects. You know, <laughs> Which do you want me to answer first? My mortality so how's your problems. Personal or the, life? Do you have any girlfriend? Brandon's dying. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, uh, can you still get hard from the hard thing? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Uh, that will hap- never go away. Are you happy? Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy. Yeah. You look good. Thanks. Yeah, you look really good. Yeah. yeah. Let's go back to Jason though. What have you been working on? <laughs> uh, what have I been working on? Um, just stay. Do you know what, man? Just living. I'm working on a little thing called life. There we go. That's it. He has yeah. a new podcast. It's called I do have Steven, new... right? Oh, you have a podcast? I sure do. Is it out yet? Yeah, it's, called... it's been out for about a month. Wow. It's called Steven. Why is it called Steven? Uh, I like we were that. Tr- we were trying to think of a name, and we we were like, "What about like products of divorce?" And we all like cringed <laughs> at that. And then I was like, "What about Steven? And then we kept thinking about it, and we laughed for like two hours. And then we were like, "Okay, that's we're naming it Steven. P H or V? V. V. Why Steve? Like why though? I was just like, well, because when people ask what's the name of your podcast? And I say, Steven, <laughs> it's, there you go. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> it's really funny. So that's it. That I was like, oh, that's fun. That's just funny on its own. So we might as well just call it that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Ours we was, might change the name though. No, keep it. Ours, ours was originally the gay boys. We're Brandon gonna, murdered a drifter named Steven. It's true. <laughs> I did. 2018. <laughs> and nobody knows about it except now everyone in this room and now they all got to go. <laughs> that's Was shit. it like that scene from American Psycho? Oh, with the homeless guy in yeah. the alleyway? You smell like shit. <laughs> you reek of shit. Do you know that? Oh my God. <laughs> why don't you get a job? If you're so poor, j- why don't you get a job? job? Let's ask a question that we can just put anywhere. Sure. Okay. You should produce a, a movie for Brandon. I would love that. I've always wanted to produce a movie. He calls me every fucking night. He goes, how do I get my script read? How do I? He embellishes everything. How do like, I? He's dramatic. He's like, he's the uh, dramatic one. He's making me seem like I'm know dramatic. How one. To Dude, get my script. every fucking time I come into his house, I'm like, how you doing, Jay? He's like, I don't fucking know, man. I don't fucking know. I just fucking, I should just get a cabin and work at a gas station. And I'm like, hey, man, I was just wondering if you wanted to go get fucking food. Well, he does that every fucking uh, time. Brett can make your movie. Well, you, you know, right. the only beef that we've ever had, had besides from the other thing, you know, has to do with. Um, he, be, he, he's been asking me for months to be introduced to my friend who's a movie producer, oh. but she was pregnant. So I was kind of trying to wait for the right time, but he kept asking me. So I found out, I was like, okay, I'm going to put you guys on text together and I'll let you just take it from there. And her name is Dina. Right. So I put, I start a group text and I say, Dina, meet Brandon. I give her a heads up. I'm like, he's my friend. He's one of the funniest people I know. You guys should chat. He's working on a movie, a script. You guys should talk. She's like, for sure, introduce us. So I put him on text together. He saves her name and his phone as Dina. But he has another person from like seven years in his past also saved in his phone as Dina. So his iPhone combines those names. (laughs) So then he goes, oh, I actually used to work with Dina seven years ago. So then I respond. I go, apparently you guys used to work together. She goes, well, I don't recognize his name. So then he responds to her. And I say, make sure I actually said to him, I was like, make sure when you respond, respond on the group text, because then I can actually help just in case she doesn't see it, like help push the conversation along. He texts her off text and he responds, Hey, not sure if you remember, this is Brandon. I'm a friend of Brent's. (laughs) (laughs) Let's chat. Yeah. And she goes. You really fumbled the ball, man. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> that ball got away from me, man. That was <laughs> yeah, rough. Yeah, yeah, that a... was rough because I remember at the end of the at the end of all of it, I was just like, I should just like move. I'm not even from Minnesota. I should move to Minnesota. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, like you, had, you had popcorn before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was just. Uh, that so was did really you get the deal? <laughs> yeah, man. We're working together. We're producing a new. So uh, the new Minions movie was produced by us. Has, has she asked about me? Since <laughs> she then? had her baby. So oh, she had her baby. <laughs> yeah. So maybe the timing will get a little better soon. Right, right, so, right. Maybe just like throw my name out there again. I'm friends with Brandon. Why is she putting the baby before Brandon's movie yeah. That doesn't make sense to me at all. Like I'm confused. Right? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't make any sense. Because like that, the script is the most important thing. It really is. Yeah. I like poured like a full month of my life into it. <laughs> yeah. It's like she's going to... Oh, kid. Oh. Oh. I, I thought... I. Honestly, found the whole thing really amusing. Right. Like I was just laughing because I did give you the advice too, and I was like, "Why did you take me off the text?" And you're like, "Why would I keep you on the text?" And I said, "Because I made the intro, and I can help move this conversation along." And you're like, "Why do I need that?" <laughs> it's just you know when like you know somebody that just does every step wrong of something. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did. I did what every did you, single step. After wrong. that happened to you that day, what did you do? I just uh, <laughs> see. I would have had a drink. Can't do that. So, uh, and I would have done drugs. Can't do that. So I just kind of like sat and watched. I think I watched American Hustle. I'm pretty sure I watched American Hustle just to like feel like, ah, right, fuck yeah. Man. By the way, American Hustle, uh, I remember 4th of July, me and Todd were in the car with you, Jess, and everybody. Zane, I was driving because everybody else was drunk. Uh, I was driving us, and I put on Delilah, which is from yeah. a scene from American Hustle where Christian Bale oh, yeah. and Jeremy Renner are, are singing Delilah. Yeah. And you got so into it, we got back to David's house, and you're like, put on that fucking scene. Put it on. And we mm. put it on, and like you're asking people to watch it, and nobody <laughs> was watching it but me and you. Like, guys, watch this fucking amazing great. scene. It's great. It's I, one of the feel, best like, feel-good scenes I've ever yeah, witnessed. It's, fan, it's fantastic. Uh, but speaking of that ride, was it Jess and – I was in the back seat. You're Very back way seat. back. I was in the back seat. Brandon was driving, and then Jess and Zane are in the middle. And these two humans mm. could not order pizza for the life of them over the phone. <laughs> that was so. And so we're we're trying we're trying to keep the vibes alive of Fourth of July going back to David's. Right. And he puts on this amazing song, and Zane and Jess make Brandon pause the song so they can order Domino's pizza, mm. but they could not order it. And, uh, for the you, life of them. You know, you know this about me. I'm a huge music in the car guy. Yes. Like, I yeah. need to listen oh, to yeah, music yeah, as yeah. I'm driving. And it was like the like they were talking to the lady mm -hmm. saying like uh they're like, Oh no, you're fine. You're fine. Like they were on the phone for 15 minutes, and then eventually they're like, No, you're okay. No, it's okay. No, really, it's okay. I'm like, what are you asking? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? And uh, it was think, like a 35 minute call. Yeah. And you were like, <laughs> yeah. you were like uh saying, what was it like? Oh, yeah. the ringleader of this they're call, like Zane? making Jess, to do a background Jess. check to order pizza. Yeah, like it was like it was this, the longest call just for pizza, well, it, and yeah. Todd was saying just order Postmates. Yes, yeah, it's we're like fucking we have Postmates. You just yeah. fucking order pizza on there. Yeah, I've only yeah. had one longer um, Pizza Hut call than that, and that was with Jonah in Hawaii. <laughs> and on the way back from that really long drive, he he had a where he puked everywhere. Yeah, he yeah. had a f fifty minute call. <laughs> wait, wait, Pizza Hut. I actually, <laughs> what? I'm not kidding. Wait, he had like a full conversation, like asking him how he was. No, he doing. does it like this. He'll be like, "Okay, uh huh." He's like, "And uh, what's the number two? Okay, uh huh." No. And there's green peppers on there. Okay. And what do you like? You like the green peppers? Okay. I used to go to diners with uh, Jonah and Alex Ernst. Yeah. Uh, like four years ago. Yeah. And. Him, being at a diner with him and him ordering food is exactly the same thing. Yeah. He'll go, go, the waiter will come by and he'll be like, "How's the roast beef salad?" Or "How's the roast beef?" And the waiter's like, "It's fine." And he goes, "Really?" Yeah. And they go, "Yes." <laughs> it's like, "Okay, what about the egg salad?" Yeah. And he goes, "It's fine. It's good." Yeah. And he goes, "Really?" <laughs> and he did that for every item on the menu. And at a certain point, I was like, "Oh, he's because I didn't know him that well that time." Yeah. I was like, "Oh, he's fucking with us. Yeah, like he's yeah, yeah. fucking." But he's done that like he did that so many times <laughs> after that, and apparently it's a pattern. So. And then he would start. Then he started the ranking things. Oh, one out of ten. What do you rank it? Yeah. And, I'm, and then I'm like a burger, like a seven. And I'm like, I'm no, I rank a burger like an eight. He's like, really? Like that's really good. Are you, are you sure? Like yeah. well, I have to try. I'm like, I don't fucking know. Right. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he gets mad if you rank too high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, He'll he send you a, a, a properly worded letter. A season like, assist. Yeah, season assist yeah. saying, why'd you, why'd you say this so about high? Wow. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. He's, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. I like yeah. Jonah. Well, actually, you reminded me of a question that I've had for, for four years. We used to be hanging at David's house and random pizzas would get delivered to the point where pizza restaurants would ban 
pizza yeah. deliveries at yeah. David's house. What's mm-hmm. the backstory of this? I never actually knew. People just order Pe- pizza to the was house. Was there was there like a catalyst for why they would do that? No, people just started ordering pizzas and food to the yeah, house. Yeah, they just send a pizza. A thousand pizzas were ordered to Terryview. If you're in right. if you're in Houston, how mm-hmm. can you like get his get to David somehow, get his attention? I remember that one time we were like, let's order a pizza, and Natalie was like, well, they won't deliver it here. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you, know, you can't get pizza. Here. The best is when you get a free pizza and then you're like, if you're thinking about eating it, you know, because you don't know if there's like cyanide in it. Or whatever. <laughs> but you really want the pizza and you're like, the chances that someone poisoned it is really small. That's so But funny. still, it's a pizza you didn't order. Right. Wow. You know? That's so funny. Not better than free food. You can say oh, the same yeah. thing about ordering a Postmates, though. Yeah, that's you know? true. Brandon shows up with your with your food. Oh, I, this guy poisoned me. I will say I'm I'm surprised that more stories don't pop don't, up about Postmates people right? poisoning people. Yeah, like that you hear that with like Ubers, like Uber drivers, like kidnapping kidnap people. people. Yeah. But like you never hear that with post, Postmates. Which is bizarre. Maybe it's because Maybe they people use die. ricin. Oh yeah, and ricin you can't trace. Really? Because if you take in ricin, then you, it just see, it shows up in your body as you just died of natural causes. Learn that from Breaking Bad. You're oh, right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking Bad. And you, Breaking Bad. And you can you can. Get through a tub with Lydia, right? right? What is it with Lydia? Yeah, mm-hmm. well, spoilers for a show that's ten years old. But yes, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, man. If you ever wanted to, you know, do that to me, yeah, doors <laughs> always open. Serious question: mm-hmm. How is your health, and what's yeah, that journey that's what been I like? Get to yeah. How is uh, your heart? It's fine. We need it, clickbait. So I, I get, get it. Into it. Show us your heart. It. What you want? Me, what you should do? Can we is, see your scars? I don't have any scars. I wish I had scars. Oh. The only scar I have is right here by my groin. Because they went in. Yeah, because the... they cut and they put a tube up through my artery that goes up to the heart mm-hmm. and they burned my heart from the inside. Jesus. So um, did this solder? Like, no, they cauterized. Cauterized, yeah. They cauter- of, yeah. cauterize your heart. It's called a wow. cardiac ablation. And uh, it's just a, it's a, it sounds super intense, but it's not like that risky. It's considered non-invasive, mm-hmm. not non-invasive. And um, it was... I remember they were just wheeling me in and then I was like, I forgot everything that happened and then I woke up and my heart was pounding. It, it felt like I had a bull heart. It was for like four days because it was yeah. pounding because they burn it and it just is irritated. And then after that, I was clear of an arrhythmia. That's why I went in because I had an arrhythmia mm-hmm. and I was clear of the arrhythmia for like a month and then I went to Coachella and Todd gave me Coke and then it came back. I did not give you Coke. See, that's what you do with stories. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, this- hey, Todd. Wait. When when he dies, uh, you need to have like a thing ready for Instagram, like just so you know. Right. I'm gonna play beer pong on his grave. <laughs> no, he was saying like a post, like <laughs> you have to have like a, like no, a no, memorial I, post. No, I know. Are you I gonna go main feed? Like a hard post? Are you well, gonna do main I'll feed definitely, or story? I'll definitely do story. Story for sure. Okay. Oh, that, you're not gonna go main feed? I, I, no. I'll go main feed. I mean, uh-huh. we don't really have any photos together. We have a couple. We have two. We have a couple. Yeah, we take have a couple. Photos. Yeah, we should, take, we should take some now. Before I'm gonna go with, to every one of my friends. Be like, take a photo with me now, because you're gonna need this for the stories later. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you might go main feed. I'm not. I'm not a main feed kind of guy. I post like one main feed a year. Right. Even for Brandon you, dying. From you wouldn't post main. Feed. That could be huge. What about a Twitter pic? I don't have a Twitter, but I'll post. Um, I'll post a few stories, three, four stories. Okay. What about Snapchat? Can I get a Snapchat? I'll do Snapchat. Okay. Because yeah. David maybe. said Snapchat, he'll do Snapchat. Oh fuck, Brandon! Anything else you want to plug, <laughs> man? You've been great. I mean, we get you, we, Brandon. You got your when shorts. When can we look for your death? <laughs> <laughs> when can we? Yeah. When can we look forward to that? Uh, I don't see. That's the thing. I make I, it sounds all scary because it's heart problems, but I think I'm fine. I think it's you told more, me the other day you're not going to live long. I don't think I will. I, no, that's the thing. When, no, so if you guys ever thought about how long you're going to live, Yo, this was more day. of a general. It wasn't had to do with my heart. I mean, it was kind of related. But have you ever thought like, what's the age like you might like naturally yeah. go? Because fifties for me. Fifties. Okay. Would you want to live any longer than fifty? Why do you say? I that? think it depends if you have grandkids. That's just a gut feeling I have. Right. You know. Right. Do you want to have grandkids? Yeah. Like you want to be able to see your grandkids? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Like, I'm going hey, on one ten. Huh? One ten. You're gonna mm-hmm. let's go to the you're moon, gonna, baby. To the moon. Let's go. You're gonna drive your car off the one ten. Yo, can you? Off the one. Can you imagine Jason being one ten and we're like eighty? We're like, hey, we're also yeah. we're, get back here. We're also going to bar list. <laughs> <laughs> so still trying to get in. Uh, uh, have you got any any girls from your heart surgery? <laughs> 
Yeah, a nurse was. She was really because she shaved my groin, and she was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> this guy needs surgery is, down here. Yeah, for now, too big. You now that's a hammer. Yeah. And so she was like, "I gotta get this guy's. That didn't happen. To and he looks at her and he goes, "You have my heart." <laughs> no, I. Uh, I just peed in a in a catheter. catheter <laughs> nice. And, and a nurse changed it for me. Was it hard to pee with the catheter in your in your penis? <laughs> sure was. And god. a nurse had to change it for me. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, I had a catheter once. It was awful. It was really rough. Did you watch my vlogs when you're in the hospital? Um, I tried to. There was no reception. Oh, in the, there, yeah. Well, just, next time we'll shame. we'll do a hard download for you. Right. Oh, you know, I'll get a hotspot yeah. from the person next to me in the other room who's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, oh, I guess, I, sir, can I just use your phone yeah, as a not. hotspot? Toddy just posted a new <laughs> podcast. <laughs> yeah. oh, right. I woke up from my surgery and um, the I had this nurse who was like, you know, she's like sixty years old, right. o- older woman, super nice, and she like she she's like she's like I'm gonna go now. She's like I have to leave. She goes I'm I'm switching over and Angela's gonna change your catheter. Like that, and I was like, "Okay, that's fine." And she, she and she goes, "She's like, wait till you see Angela," <laughs> like that. And I'm like on drugs. Jeez, I'm me. like, "Oh yeah, whatever." Mm. And then she like she the, the Angela comes in, and Angela's smoking hot nurse, like right. just a smoking hot nurse, whatever. And I'm just, she's like, "Okay, I'm gonna change your catheter," and it was so weird. And then the six year old woman is standing in the doorway. <laughs> While she's like, she's like, <laughs> she's no. going like that. She's like, <laughs> oh like that. God. And then the younger nurse is like, it was fucking bizarre. And then, and then I didn't even know I had a catheter in. Uh, so you had a three way in a hospital. That's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like three yeah. Way. That's like awesome. Some, some weird six year old in Angela. Yeah. That's some weird three way. That's awesome. Damn. Mm-hmm. Whoa, what a fucking way to Cedars is a up. great hospital for that reason. <laughs> yeah, well, because hot nurses. Yeah, hot nurses. Known that. for our three ways. <laughs> Brandon, for, for, for real me. though, I've been a fan of you as a creator, oh, fan thanks. of you as a friend. Brandon's hilarious. Thanks, thanks, thanks for coming on the podcast. You're so Brandon, funny. You're super funny. Thanks, guys. And you're a good super guy. Funny. Oh, also, check nice. out The Haystack by Brandon Calvillo. All right. Yeah, Don't forget that, to watch yeah. Steven. Don't forget to watch Steven and yeah. check out the NashNation.com. Yeah, Nash Nation. Brandon and Jason, they're not together, but maybe one day they will be moving in together. Yeah. We're going to make a movie together. I'm going to fund his movie. Okay. I'll yeah. produce it. I'll be in the movie. And he's going to put it on that. Well, those two things, yes. But I'm just kidding. Just uh, don't let him <laughs> fucking text anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll text for you. Hey, yeah. this has been Brent and Todd. Little call. Welcome to the Good Boys <laughs> Podcast with Toddy and Brent. I put, in the credits, Brent. I put Brent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> dude, what the fuck? Yeah. No, seriously. Brent thank you. Bassick. <laughs> it might be gay. According to my gaydar. <laughs> I have a really good gator. Right. This has been the Good Boys Podcast with Brandon and Jason, myself, and Brent Fokker. Oh, cue the music. Mm-hmm.